Rando here. Now, I've got a rant that I want to get out. It's about the gay girl in Damascus controversy. And if you are not familiar with it, I will link a couple articles below. So, go rant. This guy, Tom McMaster, has been running this blog for uh, four or five years, where he has pretended to be a lesbian living in Damascus, and he's blogged about the, the persecution that lesbians face and uh, the hardship and, and so forth. Um, his explanation for why he was doing this for so long has kind of shifted uh, from saying that, uh, that this was an altruistic way for him to tell a tell the real story, but through the narrative voice of the people who lived through it, instead of just giving you know, his white male bourgeois view. Um, and then also, he's been saying that it, it was uh, ego, it was vanity. He wanted, to, he wanted to treat it originally as a creative writing project and see how far he could take it. Um, you know, kind of the thing that trolls will often say about why they got into it, that it's lulls to convince people that something about you that's not true is actually true, that that's something that's real appealing, that it's kind of addictive. Um, and, I mean, I, I guess I can see the point. That's why I despise trolls. Um, when you're dealing with people solely over the Internet, you have their word to go off of. Um, I don't see why... In, in, in this guy's case, an, uh, an example, uh, why people should have been more credulous, why they should have doubted what he was writing about. I mean, over the years, he went a long way to perpetrate this fraud. He trolled uh, another, uh, he trolled a woman on Facebook and stole her pictures, posted them up as if they were his characters, without her permission. Um, he carried on a relationship with a young woman uh, who's in the same uh, uh, chat community as if his character was a real person. Um, when you're going to these lengths, he said he was doing an hour or two of research every night to keep his story consistent. At that point, why why shouldn't people take what, you, what you're saying seriously? Um, I mean... If you're really good at trolling, then you're digging yourself deeper and deeper and deeper. And eventually that's what happened. Ha <laughs> ha news stories picked up on it. Um, but I don't have any, res I don't have any uh, kind of sympathy for this guy. Um, his view on, on the problem that lesbians, um, that you know, people in the homosexual community face around the rest of the world um, is not something that he ever really took seriously. He said he le he went on vacation with his wife, and he left a status update saying that his character had been arrested, and um, so no one would be able to get in touch with her for a few days. And then that when he came back from vacation, he was going to put up a, a final blog post of saying, well, now, now that I've been arrested, that's not something I want to go through anymore, so I'm going to stop blogging. Um, and in his mind, that was that was a good way to put the controversy to rest. You know, retire his character and move on to other projects. Um, and see, that's really where his privileged white bourgeois ass entered into this. And um, and I don't normally go off about things like white privilege. I, I think the concepts are typically fairly damaging to society, but doesn't he make a great poster child for it? Um, once the heat gets too much, he thinks you can just walk away from your problems. And and that's really the privilege. That's what gay girls in Damascus don't have. That's what makes this guy so sociopathic. That he actually thought he was speaking for these people, or that he could. Hey, <laughs> they can speak for themselves. What they can't do is walk away from their problems. Now, that would be bad enough, but then it turns out that the promoter for this whole hoax, the, the lesbian surfer mom who was running the, the uh, website, was actually a guy 
a retired Air Force pilot in his 50s. And he wasn't all that apologetic about the whole thing. Um, he was operating under the uh, argument that it's a lie that serves the truth. But lesbians don't have a voice. They can't get what they're saying out there. And he, But he has a unique and important opinion that just has to be heard. But it won't be taken seriously if he tries to present it as who he actually is, and in his voice, as a retired white male. Um, Fuck you, dude. I mean, seriously, this guy was an Air Force pilot, and he doesn't think that he's, his opinion will be taken seriously? Where has he been living? Who, who does he talk to that he's had problems ever being taken seriously because he's a white male? What fucking planet does he live on that he thinks, in society in general, you're more likely to be taken seriously if you're a young lesbian. Fucking asshole, twat, cunt bag. That's all this guy is. And the, the two of you together make such a nice couple, sitting around, jerking off with one hand, typing on the keyboard with the other, uh, about how lesbian you are. Oh, I'm really lesbian. You lesbian too? Oh yeah, I'm so lesbian. Fucking morons. Here's the way it works, gentlemen. Queers and allies. Um, if you will, straights and everyone else. The LGBT community. Uh, we all come together over the issue of human rights. Because, see, I'm not pro-gay. I'm not pro-trans, pro-bi, or pro-straight. What I care about is that human rights, everyone's ability to be themselves, to be comfortable being themselves, whether that means you're an atheist or religious, whether that means you are black, white, Asian, red, any race, any color, any creed, any ethnicity, none of that is, none of that matters, none of that is moral, none of that is right and wrong, none of that is treating people well and treating them poorly. So all of that needs to be protected. All of that needs to be understood, acknowledged, and allowed to be its own. Listen. Lesbians can speak for themselves. You don't have to go around pretending to be one of them in order to show them support. You show them support by doing things like this. I support the LGBT community. Nothing. It's not that difficult. It doesn't require lying. It doesn't require trolling. It doesn't require putting people out. It doesn't require the kind of sociopathic nonsense that these two morons have been perpetrating for years. Folks, don't do it. Your creed, your goal, must be the truth. It's the truth that matters. And as they have said so eloquently, it's the truth that will set you free. So, to these two gentlemen, I give a giant fuck you. Everyone else, have a nice day.